it's dead and I'm just gonna keep doing it more. to go check it out you know we're being festive around here so anyways with that being said it is now time to get rid of said color so now I need to get rid of it and I want you to be with me on this journey once again and ruining my hair for these so many times I can't count so I don't want to scare you but I'm gonna show you what it looks like now it's real scary it's real bad it's real embarrassing I don't want to go in public like this any longer it's time to do something about it. Are you ready? Okay, I just realized I'm wearing a black shirt with a black background. I look like a probably floating bear head right now. Okay, so here we go. Slow, slow motion film. That's what she looks like. Yeah, okay, I know, I know. It's great, right? So, it's real bad. So, I used Lunar Tides for the second time. Um, from what I'm gathering, it's a real, real good hair dye. It doesn't want to go anywhere. So, um, this was green, this was red. I had previously put that over top of an orange and yellow that I had, again, videos in the playlist and stuff. You can check them out. So, this is what's left. I have been fading it using I tried this new method, well not new, but it's, it worked really good. So when I took a shower, I actually washed my hair with dish soap as just like a shampoo, like I would get my hair wet, wash it with dish soap, and that got out a lot, a lot of hair color, okay? And then I would wash it with clarifying shampoo, and then I would use like double conditioner, like regular conditioner, and leave it on for a few minutes every time, right? And I've probably done this maybe 10 times I've done this at this point um, over the last couple of probably longer more times than that this is what's left we are very very green at the root very the root color doesn't want to go away and I'm assuming that's because it was bleached so those cuticles were opened up at my root and it sucked in the color even though semi-permanent stain your hair they don't actually die and go into the hair shaft but they were wide open so they went in there or something and that's why they're not coming back out so for this we also have very very red roots also so the roots are very very pigmented and really don't want to go anywhere now this was a split dye so this is what it looks like um pretty bad pretty bad so, also I fried my hair, if you are not aware of that, I fried my hair when I was trying to remove the orange, thus I decided to color over it. Here we are again. It's split dye, which means I'm really limited, like I, I want to color my hair, but I don't want to be stuck in a split dye cycle forever. So we're going to try several methods to remove or color over, what do you think? I don't know what to do yet. So. We're gonna do some stuff. I have, first, let me show you what I have. We have bleach and baking soda and purple shampoo and developer and repair conditioner stuff and hair dye, let's go. Okay, so as you see, I am working with a lot of products here. The very first thing that I want to try is the a strip, a color strip. So one in my many, many weeks of research, if you put red dye, a red dye blue over a red, which now this is more orange, um, it should turn purple, which I'm fine with. Um, I'm fine with it. So I'm gonna do a test strip of blue, and for that I have Aquamarine by Arctic Fox. And I'm gonna dilute that a little so it's not as dark, and I'm gonna see if this turns purple. If that turns purple, we're good to go. I'll color over, I don't have to damage it anymore. And then for this side, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use bleach 
or not bleach or the baking soda method and try and actually at least remove this side of it so maybe half my hair won't be fried and half of it will. That'll be a new one. So first let's start with the, let's, let's do the, the blue. Let me get my gloves and I'll put blue on it and I'll be back and let you know. Let's see what it looks like. So we're back and um, I did two test strips. I put a diluted aquamarine and I did a diluted virgin pink on the reddish orangish color. Now the blue turned a nasty, nasty color. This is a baby poop green. Disgusting. I don't even know what to call that. Not putting that on my hair color. And then this one I put with the pink on it. I was like, cool, it's orange. I'll do like a corally pink color. And the end is slight, it's still wet, but the end is slightly pink, but the red really just overtakes everything. So for that reason, I have no other choice. It, it's not color overable at this point. I have to fry it again or try not to fry it again. Um, I'm gonna do the baking soda method. If you have not seen that, check out my baking soda removal video for full details. Right now I'm just gonna do the mixtures. We're gonna put it on, we're gonna see how it works. You wanna see me ruin my hair again? Then keep on watching, cause it's gonna be a tricky one. Um, even with the repair stuff, I'm real scared. So. There's not but so much I want to chop off, you know, it's already short as it is. So, okay. Gonna do my baking soda mixture. Just to, I won't, okay, I'll show you. Alright, so it is baking soda and tin volume developer and dish soap, any kind of work. And then we have our purple shampoo use all of my tin volume developer which sucks because if I need that for bleach purposes which hopefully I don't then that sucks because all I have is 20 and that that's really not going to be good for my already really damaged hair so don't do what I do um yeah just don't do what I do this learn from me I fry my hair so you don't have to okay so that's what the purple, now it looks purple. And it's kind of thin, like a thin water kind of mixture. All right, I'm gonna get this on my head. I'm gonna start with this side because clearly that has more color on it and it really, it really's gotta go. This is mostly blonde, especially at the ends, very yellow stuff going on. So I'm gonna get this on my head now. Name that song. Cause who needs hair? Who needs hair? I don't. That's what they make wigs for, right? Yeah, totally, totally. Oh yeah, I wanted to get it wet first. Shit, mother. I'll be back. Oh, please. never seen what fried hair looks like I'm gonna learn you today so this is what it looks like 
Um, all right, so I don't know because it was already fried before I did this. So I don't know if this is just remnants of what it was like before, um, which you can really tell when hair is wet, you see the fried um, more so than when it's dry, it's more, it's stronger. But when it's wet, you can really, really see the fried tastiness of it. Um, but yeah, so when your hair looks like ramen noodles, that means it's fried. This is what fried hair looks like in case you were wondering. Um, so look, this is, this, is, this is how you know. When your hair is like elastic and it pulls and it just pulls out. You see how it pulls like that? Ah. That's called fried. It's fried. It's dead. And I'm just going to keep doing it more. Okay, so, yeah. Um, as far as results from me damaging it more, the color is still there, as you can see. But the green, I'm, I'm actually really surprised. The green lightened up significantly. The, a lot of the green came out, which is cool. It's still very yellow. And then, ba -ba. And then this side, the red is very red and it doesn't want to go anywhere. So I will never, ever, ever be coloring my hair red or yellow or orange ever again. At least not with Lunar Tides ever on this channel. I'm sorry, it's, you're not going to see that. This is not happening again. I am going to go see if I can find some coconut oil or some kind of oil. If I don't have coconut, I'm going to do olive oil. Because um, next I'm doing a bleach bath. So we're going to do it again. <laughs> I'm going to see how much of my hair I can really make fall out. You know, I've already discussed this with Hubby. And you know, I might have to buy a wig. So um, that might be in my future. So let's do olive oil. I'm gonna put, go put that on my head. Let that set for about an hour, a couple of hours or so. And we'll be back and we're gonna continue to screw this up. We're gonna see what we can do. All right, so I was not able to find actual coconut oil, but I do have this stuff, which I know is backwards, but it says that it has petroleum, petro, petrolatum, uh, coconut oil, it has jojoba seed oil, paraffin mineral oil, and yeah. So it actually has a lot of different oils in it. Well, I really think that this is going to be beneficial because it does have so much stuff in it. Um, we'll see. And... I'm going to put bleach on my hair now. Um, let's hope that the coconut oil stuff protects it a little bit. But I'm just at a point, like, I, I literally don't know what else to do. Brad, I need your help. Um, Brad Mondo, yeah. So, my hair's fried already, so it's not like, I mean, it's either going to fry more or it's not going to heal anyway. So, like, what's the point? So I might as well just do it anyway and see what happens because, yeah, I'm stuck. So this is my bleach bath. If you don't know, I do have a full full video. It's kind of old now, so I probably need to remake it. But it's in my hair playlist. I'll try and link it down below in the description. Um, full description how to do a bleach bath. But it's basically a regular bleach mixture. And I use purple shampoo um, in hopes of toning out the yellow and I used 20 volume on the developer because that's all I had I prefer 10 but I got a little bottle I used it all like a dummy so I'm using the 20 because that's all I have but hopefully it's diluted enough so that my hair is somewhat okay let's get this on my head
All right, so this is the final result. I still have color in my hair. It is way less than what it was previously. It's definitely faded. Um, it looks so much better. It's definitely something I can go in public with. It's not gone, which means I can't dye it again, but we're here. We're to this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, but I might do another video because I do want to see how a hair dye remover, even though it's not meant for semi-permanent dyes, I want to see if it will remove that color and if so, how well or whatever it might do because I heard they're not damaging. We'll see about that. So if you would like to see that or maybe just stay tuned, that might be next because I still need to get rid of this, but we are in a good place finally. So thank you for following along my hair journey, um, me, me getting rid of the hair color, me frying my hair. As you can see, it doesn't look really bad, really, really bad, really. Um, ex aside from the breakage, the obvious breakage um, that I have, it's, I clearly had lots of breakage going on. But for the most part, after lots of hair mass and, um, and this stuff, this repair, solution stuff from Sally's which was like a dollar fifty was amazing uh, so I used that and lots of other hair products so that might be another video if you guys want to see how I take care of my hair how I manage to make it look decent um, even though it's fried then let me know about that in the comments below and I will make another video at your request so let me know but I hope you guys liked it give it a big thumbs up and We'll probably have another hair color removing video. And then of course another hair dyeing video. We have some holidays coming up. We have Valentine's and we have St. Patty's Day. So guess what that means? You can guess the color. So stay tuned. If you're not already, what are you doing with your life? Subscribe for more awesome videos. I'll see you guys on my next one. Okay, bye.